Good evening all and welcome to another video on All Hands Out. Tonight we are, funnily enough, in the alcohol free section. It's Friday night and we are going for a lager. Which one is this one? Big Drop Lager. Now, you'll probably be able to tell this is an older bottle and it's been sitting on my shelf for a little while and is a couple of weeks out of date now. Um, so I'll put that caveat out there up front. Uh, what can I tell you about it? Well, it's half a percent ABV and that is pretty much it. Um, so there's very little actual information on the back of the bottle. You've got your ingredients list there. So yeah, that's what you've got. And it's out of date the, uh, the end of January. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of slack <clears throat> and hopefully it will still be all right. Now I've come prepared. It's a big drop bottled beer and every one I've had has been like a Roman candle. So I've got a towel on my lap. Um, I've yet to find a bottled beer from them that hasn't gone full on psycho on me so i am prepared this time electronics are out the way so yeah right let's crack it open and we're gonna pour there's a first time for everything it hasn't gone psycho <laughs> uh, so we're gonna pour into the northern monk glass and the pour is a nice color to it give it that It's got a good carbonation, but unfortunately my glass could do with a bit more cleaning. I need to sack the glass cleaner. Anywho, what we got? So we've got a copper coloured beer uh, with, an, with an off-white head that is relatively tight and compact and infinitely too many bubbles on the side of the glass, so apologies in advance for that. The beer itself is crystal clear, like I say, and otherwise it looks all right. It's got more colour than your average lager, uh, which is always a good start. Um, but does it smell any good? Let's find out. Actually, it smells all right. Uh, it's got that classic SARS thing going on. It's green, grassy, fresh, almost a slightly, a slightly malty aroma as well. It actually smells very, very inviting, which doesn't have that overly sugary sweet crystal malt that some of the alcohol free beers can have uh, so I'm pleased with that it's freezing cold as well it's been at the back of the fridge now for a little while so it looks good apart from the excess bubbles that are my fault entirely it smells good does it taste good let's find out Tastes like lager. It still has some of that sweet malt on it, and it is quite a malt forward lager as well. Um, but it actually tastes all right. Body's exactly where I'd expect it to be. It's on the lighter side of medium. It has got that crystal malt in the background, that overly sweet one that I'm not the biggest fan of. But on the first sip, you get a nice, fairly robust malt, and you get a hint of hop. Hops on the back end as well, it's quite nice. It's clean tasting, it's crisp, it's refreshing. Sweet then dry on the finish. It's not a bad effort considering it's a few weeks out of date. It's ironic really, as uh, big drop beers go, this one's one of the better ones. Hmm. Yep, more malty than hoppy, but the hops are there. They come in more at the back end. Light, crisp, clean, refreshing. Lovely colour. And the finish, <clears throat> excuse me, is it's quite short, but that's where most of the complexity is. You get the sweet malt to start with, which it, it kind of works a little bit better in a lager than anything else. And you get that green, grassy hop. A little bit of something ever so slightly citrus as well, which is an contributing to the refreshing edge. Yeah, that's not, not a bad lager. I say if it could dispense with that sugary sweet malt, it'd be really good. Mm. Not a bad effort at all, big drop. So before we score it 
for me. Let's go to the aid, aid memoir from Untapped, which gives it a show of 2,552 check-ins with an average of 2.41. One of my good friends on uh, Untapped has actually scored it a four, which is really high and really bucks the trend of uh, the average score. But what's my score? We're going to give it the five pillars of judgment as usual. The looks, the aroma, the body, the taste, and the finish. So, where's my chalk? Oh, chalk stick of joy. The looks. <clears throat> it's a good colour. You know, it's a nice, robust colour. It's like sort of golden copper. And the beer itself looks really nice. The head doesn't hang around for long, but that's fairly typical of beers that are poured into a shockingly unclean glass. Um, and alcohol-free beers tend not to have the longest duration on the head as well. You know, that said, when the head was there, it was all right. It was relatively fluffy and inconsistent, but as heads go, it's not poured through a sparkler. So, yeah, it's never going to be as tight and compact. Certainly not as compact or tight as a nitro head, but nitro lager, anyone? Ever had one? Me, I haven't. Anyhow, yeah, it looks good. It's one of the best looking alcohol-free lagers that I've ever had. Uh, arguably it's got the most colour and for that reason alone uh, knock a little bit off for the head um, I'm going to give it the, the 0.75 so we're off to a good start the aroma I'd say there is an element of malt and it's quite malty and it's almost got almost like a berry note to it as well Think, think like your, your darker real ales, like your Hobgoblins and, and your 1845 from Fuller's. Those kind of dark fruits that have been kind of soaking in, in some alcohol. That kind of thing. Unusual, totally unexpected in a lager, but welcome nonetheless. I like the smell. You know, there is that hint of that sweet malt. Doesn't present itself as that overly sweet malt on the nose. It's really quite nice. Can't fault the aroma at all. Hmm. Therefore, I'm going to give it the full point. It's got everything I expect. You've got that SARS thing going on, that slight green grassy edge as well to the hop note. Lovely. Body is, like I said, where I expect it to for the style. It's lighter side of medium, sort of towards the lighter end of that as well. Um, it's spot on. You know, the carbonation, despite it being slightly out of date, is spot on as well. It's not lost anything and it's not gone too, it's not gone flat. It's not kind of overhyped itself in the bottle, which is always a bonus. Um, so big drop. Thank you for getting this one right. Uh, I haven't got wet legs. Uh, the body, like I say, spot on. I would like it perhaps just a little bit heavier. Not a lot, but that's just my personal preference. I prefer them slightly heavier. I'm going to give it the 0.75 again. Really doing quite well. Already we're up to uh, above. Yeah, we're above the average score on untapped. Taste. Taste is king, and <clears throat> whilst I appreciate the uh, the hops that come in on the back end, there is still that element of that slightly oversweet crystal malt that I'm just not a big, big fan of. There is that robust malt on the first sip that kind of doesn't really appear again, um, but otherwise, you know, it's not a bad effort at all. Uh, I'm going to give it half on that one, which gives it that and the finish like i say on a lager you can't expect a long finish you really can't but what you want is that that experience of the hops you know that that kind of green grassy kind of fragrant hop and you know if you get a nice bit of malt to go with it wonderful it's like i say it's a clean dry finish and it's a little bit sweet at the beginning i like it is it perfect yeah it's not bad it's not bad at all it's it's almost there so i'm going to give it the three quarters out of the possible one on that one, which by my reckoning was at one, two and a half, 3.75 out of five. You know, unless my maths is shocking tonight, which is entirely possible to put five, three, yeah, three, three quarters out of five um, for the, uh, the big drop lager. So there we go. Definitely, apart from the, uh, the, the galactic milk stout, Definitely one of my favourites from Big Drop. I did not expect it to be a lager. I was hoping that it would be the, the Citra IPA or indeed the uh, the part, is it the Pine Trail Pale, they call it now. It used to be just the regular pale. Um, but yeah, I've been surprised. The, uh, the lager, even the older ones, come out on top. So yeah, if you've not tried the Big Drop lager, I definitely recommend you give it a try. Um, there's 
very much some things that I enjoy about this and you might find them as well. So uh, on that note, before I waffle too much, I'm going to say that's been the beer. Down there are some buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got the like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. I'm going to go and get the video uploaded for your viewing pleasure and I will catch you again soon for another video. Bye.